Hi folks, my name is Mike and I'm a professional survival trainer and wilderness guide. Today I want to show you how you can make a survival weapon that you can use for hunt. So let's get right into it. Well, I tell you, look at that bowler right there. Um, this book is really awesome and it has so much survival information in it. It's totally cool. I've put a link where you can find this book in the description box down below. So check it out. And don't forget to leave me a thumbs up for this video. In autumn and winter it's very hard to find stones. Because all of the leaves and debris is covering them. There is one. There is two. Oh, and three. If you are living in a snake infested area where you may have to face some poisonous spiders, you don't want to search with your bare hands. Just take a stick to search for stones. So once you have collected your stones, want to have some cordage and an old piece of cloth or rag. In this case, I have this kitchen towel, which is yeah not used any longer. So I will use this. The stones should be around the same size, so I'll stick with those five here. Get rid of the two big ones. Don't need them. I use my silver stack knife and all I want to do next is cut the towel into pieces and each piece should fit one stone to make a little small pocket out of this cloth. So this size here is very good because you can take the stone, put it in the middle wrap it up and you have created a small little pouch for the stone and I have to repeat this another four times. From the cordage you need around I would say three foot. Cut a piece and tie it off to the pouch you made for the stone. Any knot will do as long as it is strong enough and also with the cordage you want to have it as strong as possible because if you go to if you go to catch some wild game with it it should be strong enough that's one for to go you can also use an old t-shirt if you have Or even your underwear in a survival situation. Make a big overhand knot, tie it off, cinch it tight, and your survival hunting weapon is ready to go. Alright, so three foot of cordage and five stones in five pockets all tied off in an overhand knot. That's all you're gonna need to create a so-called bola. Well, it is a hard training. It's not that easy, what do you think? Yeah, you need to practice a lot to master the bowler. It looks easy, it looks nice when you see natives do it. But I tell you, if you just 
if you never ever have thrown one of this and just build it and go outside you will fail 100% you will fail it's really hard but it was fun to make it was fun to practice fun to be out here in nature and enjoy the time out here together with Lily bye hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching Mike out <laughs> <laughs>